Good afternoon. I am Pastor Kathleen Harris from New Risen Christ Ministry International. Today we are going to talk about the heart. The heart is hurting and the heart is sick and wicked. And the word says it. So we're going to begin to just operate in that um, hurt and take it out of our heart. As we begin to hear um, God knows my heart. Yes, he does. He knows your heart, but we don't know our heart. So during the years that since the day first we was born into whatever age you are now, our heart be really troubled. Our heart is hurting. People views our heart. When I say people views our heart is saying damage things to us. So as we begin over the years um, having this hurt heart is not being fixed inside of us. So we carry this bag around with us and we meet different people and we begin to hurt them because our heart is broken, is wounded. So now today I'm just going to give you a little bit of sample of how can we move forward and get out of the hurt, the damaged heart. Our heart be so damaged when different people says different things to you, your mother says something to you, your father, sister, whoever raised you say something to you when you go to school. Children could be really cruel and they'll say something to you and then it hurts your heart and it stays there and never completed, you know, completed, um, just completed. When I say completed is you have not completed anything trying to dissolve and get that hurt out of your heart. So today I hopefully this will help you to see the damage that over the years that your heart been hurting. The topic is the wounded heart today. The wounded heart is that, like your mother say, you won't be anything, you amount anything, you're just like your daddy, your daddy might have been a drunk or whatever, or uh, auntie say, you just like your mother, your mother probably been um, alcoholic or she just was whatever she was where well, she was a good person and not really care for children or whatever then someone come up to you and, and say these things to you then you begin to take on in your heart these things so today we're going to try to um, work with you so that you could take these things serious so that you could operate better in your life, that you could see what God is getting ready to do in your life. We all are one, and our hearts is very fragile. When you get wounded in your heart, it's, it, it makes, um, have a lot of the diseases, and you be sick, heart failure, or whatever, and it tears down your body. It is not just stop there. It goes on to other little things. So today we're just going to talk about the heart right now so we could get that heart, the hurt fixed. And a lot of things we say, sticks and, bo sticks and stones won't break my heart. But it does break your heart because whatever's been said, it goes right into your heart and it stays right there. We have a memory in our heart and our brains, so it will stay there. So today we want to try to um, implement to you that you can, uh, you can take care of this. What you're going to have to do, one, is you're going to have to forgive. Forgive, forgive. A lot of times people say, I forgive, and they say, I will not forgive, I, but I won't forget. You, you have to forgive and forget so that your heart can be really healed. Healing your heart. Jeremiah 17 says, as we begin to look at our heart, as our heart is super wicked. So you know that when we have these wounded spirits in our side, our hearts, we get really wicked. So then that's how the sickness comes on. So let's don't have that so we 
cast out those sickness because he wants us to be healed. Like verse 8, when you move a little further up, verse 8 says that he will be, we are planted by rivers of water. That means we have our foundation. He has completed. We should not be sick. We should not be hurt in our heart. We will stand still with him because we are planted by the rivers of water. So that means that uh, we can conquer. We have the strength because he give us the strength to conquer this. So as we begin to get to the root cause of this, then we begin to be pulling it out and then it be layers because over the years that you've been hurting. And a lot of people have um, hurting heart and we want to lift that hurt up to the, to the Holy Spirit so that he can fix us and we can get on with our life. A lot of times we cannot deal with people because we hurt. We don't know how to deal with ourselves. We have um, 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 self-esteem is really low. So then we can't deal with and we cannot function around different people because we think we are so bad and because of the hurt in our heart, we think we're so bad that uh, we cannot be healed, that people see us. No, they don't see you. See, we operate in this way. So the Holy Spirit do not want us to, the Heavenly Father do not want us to operate in like that. So like Hagar 2 was saying, as we begin to lift all our hearts up to him, that he will take care of us because he promised that, the word promised that to us, that if we lift him up and begin to praise him and give him totally everything that we have, that he will do it. As we begin to read songs, read songs, and it begin to elevate your heart, cleanse your heart, and it will help you do step one. Jeremiah 15, 18 was saying the pain, the pain in your heart, your wounded heart, it will be healed as we begin to turn it over to him. See, a lot of times we don't turn it over to him because we are set in our own ways. So now it's time out for all this. You see all these people dying now with heart failure or just clawed up hearts in everything and then the blood is not flowing right because when you begin to have all these things operating in you you are not flowing right the blood is not flowing into the heart right so now you have um you cloudy your mind is cloudy and you don't know what this heart is you have this pain you say what is this pain that i have and then a lot of times the doctor cannot find out what is that pain? The pain is that hurt. Then all the time when you go to the doctor, you have uh, your artery is clogged up. And, and just, it could be food or whatever you're eating, but most of the time it's all that hurt and bitterness and unforgiveness that we have inside of us. As we begin to look at it, we should stop and say, hey, I'm going to stop lying to myself. I want to get right with God. Get right and let me see myself. Let my heart be clear from all this. So we have to be teachable. A lot of times we are not teachable. So let's begin to be teachable. As we begin to be teachable, that the word will clearly help us, clearly help our heart to be delivered from all these pains and aches that we go through. Because Satan wants us to be bound. He don't want us to be free. God promised this to us, life, everlasting life in him. As we begin to do this and ask for forgiveness, then we begin to see a change inside of our heart. And now one of the things I would like to talk about is today is, you know, a lot of people uh, don't want to really um, confess this or say, oh, that's not me. Yes, it is you, and you know it, but you just don't want. 
other people to know are you are you feeling so they could see you looking um, different in their eyes no God had it God got your back God is on your side so it doesn't matter so let's look at anger anger we have anger so tough inside of us our heart be aching our bodies be aching because the heart is not flowing right the blood in your heart is not flowing through your veins as it's supposed to it's like um, if you could read ephesians uh, 4 26 and 27 be ye anger but not sin See, a lot of times we be angry, then we sin because we strike out at people. So now he said, no, uh, let's give this anger up so that I can get that little hurt, that wounded area inside of you so that I can heal it. Okay, then we go to another. As we hold on to anger, anger is sin. And a lot of people say, no, it's not sin. Yes, it is. It's big time sin. So we want to get rid of the sin. So let's remember that anger is sin. Let's study and take the word in, in our heart, so we can start healing our heart. Anger is sin. And another thing that comes underneath anger is bitterness. Because we, when we get anger, we get really, really bitter. Why we get bitter? We get bitter at different things. We get bitter at ourselves. So we got to forgive ourselves, and we, we have to forgive the Holy, forgive God. Then we have to forgive others. As we begin to do that, you begin to, we begin to see a change inside of us. Amen. Hallelujah. And then also we have the anger. Then we have the bitterness. You know what comes next? That murder spirit. Murder spirit. Because we get so angry that we see red. And then when we get that murder spirit, we could do anything. That's why he says our heart is sick and wicked. So we don't know our own heart. I step back when people says, I know my heart. Uh-oh. That's trouble. When you hear people say they know their heart, uh-oh, because the word says it, we do not know our own hearts. So, you know, it's wicked. We could, we could turn, we could flash out any time, any day, any month, any year, you know, because our hearts receive totally different. It do not get in tune with our mind. You know, so that we could be like bipolar, clock out anytime. So that's why the Holy Spirit want us to, the Heavenly Father wants us to really praise Him so that we could be free from all this. That damaged heart, that damaged, wounded heart is really hard to really heal. We cannot heal it. Only one can really heal your heart is that Heavenly Father to clean your heart, to clean it out and clean that fested what's in there, that wounded, that cut. He can sew it up and he can heal it. As you begin to get healed, the first steps that healing process is ask for forgiveness. And once you begin to do that, you begin to pray. You pray to God and ask him to help you to receive the love that he has for you. Number one, you, you're, you're going to have to pray to God so that he can heal that wounded error in your heart, that error, that space in your heart. So as he began to heal your heart, you could see everything totally different. You will be in a place where God, the word of God will heal you that damaged area in your heart, he will, you will see yourself better, you will love others, you will love yourself better, 
and you can hear better and you can see better. His love is great. Once you have his love, our hearts is going to be healed because he's taken out all that infested area hurt that you have inside of you. The Lord do not want us to walk around with this inside of us, that trouble spirit. He does not want us to walk around carrying that baggage. He wants to deliver you from all these things that we have around our heart. That's why you see some people that when you're talking to them or you're praying with them, you can't get through because their heart is hardened because they had so much hurt and the damage inside that they their walls is up. So now as you begin to notice this, that you can let your wall down and God has you. He's saying, I have you today. I have everything. If you just lay it at my feet. A lot of times people say, well, I'm going to lay my heart down. But when that butt come in, soon as they begin to turn around and go back to their seat, and by the time they leave out the door, go to the driveway, get in their car, they done picked it back up. And then when you pick it back up, do you know you pick it up double? So we, want, we don't want to pick up double. We want to get rid of all that. So when you go to the author, we're going to leave it, let him get to the root cause of it. I'm, I am totally going to surrender everything. That's what you need to say when you go to the altar. I am going to surrender everything. As you begin to do that, you begin to see your heart changing and God can work with you. As you begin to read Proverbs 28, 26, will tell you that this is easy and this is what God has for us. He will deliver you. He will take out that hurt. He will set you free from all kinds of the disease, all this hurt. When I say disease, that's me, all this hurt and this fester inside. And it'll cause your body to ache. You can't think right and you can't do nothing right because you have all this stuff operating inside of you. He wants us to be faithful, to have this faith. When you begin to um, have this faith, faith is, is powerful, is a powerful tool. Once you begin to learn how to operate in this faith, the Word of God will show us how to operate in the word of faith. Faith is very powerful. Once we surrender and turn our life over to him, this is promised to us. He said, I want you in perfect peace. You know, we, we have to stay in the word and we have to stay with the Lord so that we can have this perfect peace. He want us to have this peace. He want us to have this peace. Do you hear what? He promised us this, and he has a purpose for your life. He wants you to surrender and love him completely, completely. As we begin to do this, our life will change, and we begin to see, oh, I waited all these years. I could have done it early. So now take the first step. Repent. Repent. And ask God to help you. Repent. Take away the anger as you begin to do this. Lord, help me not to be bitter. Lord, help me. Let me see the things inside of my heart that it need to be out. And a lot of times when we begin to do this and you say, I see a little bit of change but I don't see completely that's okay because we have residue left in. So he says, I'm scraping it out. I'm doing it. Let me do it. Follow up, follow up what you have to do. Get rid of the anger, get rid of the bitterness so that it will not form anything else in there. It won't form to murder spirit. It will not form to unforgiveness. So let's be 
honest with ourselves and truthful to ourselves as we begin. God said he's always right there with you beside you. He's your refuge. He's your strength. So as we begin to call on him and we begin to change everything, I know because I've been through that. So as you begin to do it, when people begin to hurt your feeling, it won't, hurt, it won't bother you. You, you have a hold on that. You have a hand on that. Say, oh, okay, yeah, that's where they're at now. I will pray for them. I will pray and say, Lord, guard my heart. Protect my heart so no harm can come into my heart. As you begin to do that, you begin to see a different in you, and your life will be totally different. Then you begin to see the growth that you have inside of you that God wants you to be the man and a woman of God be like him as as you begin to walk in his likeness you begin to see totally different you begin to see the people then you begin to see the hurt inside their heart because you've been there so now as you begin to walk with him and follow him he will show you step by step by step Today, we talked about wounded heart to be delivered from all other things that's not like God. So I would like to say thank you for being with, with me today talking about this wounded heart. So as you begin to let the Holy Spirit work inside of you, I hopefully that you learn something from this today and let God richly put powerful, beautiful love in your heart that you receive it, that you can love yourself and love others. So have a blessed day. God be with you in the power of God. I am Pastor Kathleen Harris from New Risen Christ Ministry International. Thank you and God bless. How does one describe your splendor When your majesty eludes our words Still we bow down in awe and awesome wonder And we cry out, glory